Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Stackland Studio Experience. Uh, I'm actually going to turn up my volume a little bit. So, I'm sorry if I am clipping. Uh, I'll try and compress it in the post of this video, but I wanted to kind of go through and talk to you guys about how I uh, make my content. So, first of all, just so that it's out of the way, um, I do have a dual monitor set up. This that you're looking at is my 1440 monitor that's on my left. And then on my right, I have the 1080p monitor that I'm going to be monitoring uh, OBS and everything in. Uh, we won't really be doing anything with this monitor. It'll just be where I stick uh, all of my other uh, all my other tabs to keep everything sanitary. So to keep to keep it simple and to give you guys the proof that you guys need, um, I am running on an X99 socket 2011-3 um, motherboard from Asus. This is the X99A. This is just the first one. I'm running at 32 gigabytes of DDR4 from uh, Corsair, and this is running actually at uh, 2400, I believe, when it takes off. As you can see uh, here and over here in the actual Windows Task Manager, I have the Intel Core i7 uh, 5820K, and I do have it clocked at 4.08 because if I clock it any higher I I can't run my system and I think that's just because I didn't win the silicon lottery um, and I have a slew of hard drives in my system uh, so this 30 gigabyte don't worry about this this is actually uh, just my uh, my SD card so don't worry about that one um, you guys don't need to worry about that um, this is just kind of a, how I do like a video game recording start to finish because I found a way that I can increase my render times by almost two times or three times. So stick with me. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So, uh, editor Joe will roll the intro, I guess. <laughs> All right, so to start, we have, I have on my system, and I still have the uh, Piriform Specky and the Task Manager open, just have them hidden for right now. Okay, so what do we do now? Uh, well, as you can see here, I have an Elgato Capture card, so I'm going to launch Elgato Capture Suite. Um, you guys can launch whichever suite you have, respectively, whether you have... Uh, you know, the Aver Media Capture Suite, or the Huppage Cap Capture Suite, or the Elgato Capture Suite, or whichever Capture Suite you're using. Go ahead and open that in your computer, or at least that's what I'm doing. Um, now, in my Capture Suite through Elgato, I can choose to title and give it a game name. Um, so, I guess we're going to be playing Black Ops 3, because that's the last one that I did. Uh, demo, we'll call this, and then uh, what I do is I just click on this and then move my mouse off to the side, and then for this instance, I'll be clicking on OBS, and then I'll make the screen go in full size so that I don't have to worry about it. Now, you'll notice that my start menu has completely disappeared, but if I want to bring that up, all I have to do is hit the start key, and it'll just go away again. Again, this is a native full screen app in Windows, so you can't really change that, again, unless you hover over it, which then it'll bring up your minimize, maximize, and uh, escape options. So, let's go ahead and launch Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and as you've seen, it just slides back in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also record the gameplay so that I can show you guys my editing workflow. So this may end up being a very long video, so I encourage you guys to pick up some chips or um, whatever, not for those people who are, uh, are British, I mean like potato chips, not french fries. That, that always kicks me right in the nads whenever I say that because, you know, girlfriend's European, so 
are used to saying chips as in french fry. So, also, sorry about the clinking of the microphone. Okay, so, this sadly is a little bit darker than I like, but I can't really change that. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to record pre-game when I'm like in menus and stuff, so that I can also show you guys how to scrub through footage and stuff like that. Now, as you guys can see, and I'll switch to my uh, right screen here, actually. Um, as you guys can see, I have Vegas Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve you'll definitely need for this tutorial if you want to shave half of the time off of your renders. Um, I highly recommend 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 DaVinci over uh, Vegas, but Vegas's workflow is a lot easier than DaVinci's. So, again, it's up to you, but I personally prefer to edit in one and then render in the other, which is the secret, kind of, in this. So let's do public match, fine match, and I'm going to be fucking scrubbish here, because um, now I just hit the record button, and then it... Uh, and I'm actually getting a, a party request from someone I, I wanted to do a, a thing with. Um, so, I'm going to go into Hardcore Team Deathmatch. And I always bounce out of lobbies like this. So, uh, just because I don't want to wait for the match to go through. Analyzing, analyzing, and boom. There we go. Okay, so as you can see by the little red rec symbol up in the top corner, uh, we are recording. And I have it so that it's just recording the game audio. And this is going to a temporary storage um, that, just hold, that just holds my scratch stuff for this software. Uh, it's going directly into that folder so that I can just go through and find which one I want. Now, I don't have audio on right now, so I can't hear what's going on, but you guys can. So I'm going to just time lapse through this, and uh, please, please no hate, I guess. Alright, so just bringing it back, I, 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 I'm not really paying attention. Um, so now that that clip has finished, I do like how it, my, you get to see how your gun works when someone else is behind you. Um, so, um, yeah, that is the gist of how I do it, and then uh, I'll just let the game finish, fly out. And then three, two, one, and stop. And then I stop recording. It's saved to my drive. And then we can get into the organizing and uh, pulling into Vegas. All right. So now that we've actually recorded the gameplay, we can actually go ahead and go into not this, because this is Infinite Warfare. Uh, but we will, I have a projects folder, and what I'll do is I'll create a new folder, and I have, um, R, E, U, S, C, and D. Uh, R means record, E means edit, uh, U means upload, S means series, C means canceled, and then D, D is where it's all at, 
D is done. That's where it's completely finished, and I have nothing to worry about anymore. So, this will be edit, and then I put a space, and then I just do, I'll just call it demo. Video. Okay. So, then I will open this up in a new window. And I have over here in my projects folder the dump and sort, which is all of what I'm recording here. And then I also have my default folder, which I still actually have to copy two, two, uh, two videos into. But I have my main intro. And I have to go into New Vegas. And uh, I think I have it here. Yeah. I have the outro and then transcend musically, which I'll actually copy these back into the default so that I don't have to worry about them missing again. So I'll copy those into this folder. Now, because there wasn't any audio, I will need some music to put behind it just so that people don't get bored. For that, I just go to my video stuff, YouTube, and then I go to Magical CC Music, Music to Listen to. Or, since this is an older list, um, I don't really need to worry about this folder. Um, I'll actually go to Stuff, Twitch, Music, and then this is my updated music list, which you guys can actually check out. Now, I have it sorted by length, so the video that we're looking for is going to be a longer clip so we want to get something that's long yet doesn't blast away but also feels that it's strong uh has a high uh beats per minute so that it doesn't lose the feel this song sounds good so i will simply copy this by doing control c and pasting it into the project folder Next, we need to go and find the video. Now, I told you that I already had it put into one specific folder, and that's YouTube, Video Stuff, and then Temp Elgato. Now, that was the latest one today, so that'd be this one, which I, de which I called Demo. So if you, uh, what I'll do is I'll rename this to Demo Gameplay. Because with it being so far down the line, you can't have very long, uh, very long names or else Windows gets confused. And this one I'm actually going to cut out of this and paste into here. Now, this is an MP4. However, this we're going to have to change because uh, the DaVinci Resolve doesn't play well with MP3 files, so we have to change it into a raw WAV file. So for that, I have the magical thing called Any Video Converter. Simply type AVC or Any in your, in your start menu, and then open it up, and then just click and drag, and then what you're going to want to do is... Uh, import audio only so that would be uh, music and then we want WAV that'll bring up that and then simply convert it and it'll do its thing and convert and then it'll pop up the window simply drag and place this into there you can either cut it or, or just copy it doesn't really matter and then just close that and close that and then that's it now, if you'd like, you can also delete this since we copied it from the other folder so that you don't have to continue to translate it into the WAV format every single time. So, next we're going to go ahead and open up the Sony Vegas Pro here. And boom, my old project actually just popped up, but I'm going to go ahead and hit new. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so your window will probably start up like this unless you were just working on a project. Um, now, this tutorial can work um, for 
any system, and I highly recommend that if you use Vegas Pro, Premiere, or any other uh, video encoder when you're rendering out your videos, I highly recommend that you follow this tutorial because it will save your life a million times because you don't know how many times I have thanked this and I just opened Chrome on accident. Whoops. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back down to the project folder and then copy everything into this. Now it'll take a couple seconds and then load. And then what I always do is I copy in my demo and I always say yes to set the project video settings to match the media because um, normally the first video I pull in is the one that I want it to match. Pull that down so that it's not killing your ears. And that's pretty loud, but still. Uh, and then we're just going to pull in the gameplay. Move the gameplay to a separate audio track. And we want to unlink the video from the audio. Because we want to mute the audio. And then we can pull that in so that it's crossfaded. Crossfade this. And then we can pull in our music, which seems to be slightly short. But this is okay because we can have a crossfade in and it will last. Oh, that's right. It may not be because remember, we started recording at the beginning. That's where my friend sent the message to invite me. And here is actually when we got into the game. So you can base this all on the uh, audio track down here. So if you want, you can take that, splice that up with the key S. If you are on, uh, on Vegas or B, I believe, if you are on... Uh, the, uh, what is it called? Uh, Adobe, if you're on the Adobe suite. Now you can see that the audio is actually longer than the clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, snip it off the end by doing the S or the B key again, and then we're going to just do a crossfade into the thanks for watching video. And sometimes I'll actually, instead of doing a crossfade, um, I'll actually just pull in this into here. And actually, that didn't do that correctly. Um, I'll do this, and then I'll pull this down into a separate track. Um, or I'll have this muted, and then I'll just have the video so that it crossfades and then I'll cut off the end after all of the clips have been dealt with. So if you go, there we go. And then if you zoom in, you can crossfade those. And now what you can do is you can do the snipping tool right there at the end of that clip, snip, delete, and then we can do the crossfade here and the crossfade here. So that's basically the end of that project. So let's mark it with in out, um, which is simply uh, your I and O key. And that's where it's going to determine where your start point for rendering and your end point for rendering is. So now we can save this project as, and yeah, you guys uh, seen that. So uh, we go to uh, dun, 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 edit demo video, and then I'm going to just name it demo video. Okay, so now it's saved as a VEG or Vegas Pro video file. Now this is only available in Vegas Pro 14. Now what you can do is do file, export, and then export it to Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve. Now to do this, I highly recommend that you have a NVIDIA graphics card. This will still work with 
an AMD graphics card, but it will be a pain in the ass to do the OpenCL, and it may not shave off that much time. So let's go ahead and click OK. It saves the gameplay and all of the clips into a XML file. And this may, of course, take a little bit because I am recording on the same drive that it's trying to export to. And there we go. It's closed. It's finished, and you can show the log, and everything has been copied. Um, and it shows the events that have been ignored. And it then saves it to the demo video dot, uh, XML. And then if you click close, now you can do a quick save, and then you're done with Vegas. So now you can open up DaVinci Resolve. Now we're going to still want to keep uh, this window over here kind of off to the side. So I'm going to pull it off to my second window. I highly recommend having two windows. Now I noticed that these are not correct <laughs> because this shows the video backwards. Um, same with this one. It shows all of the end clips and then the main clips. So what we want to do is do a new project and then this will be the demo video. And then we launch the demo video. Now, here's the cool part. All you have to do is click DaVinci Resolve. Uh, sorry, File, uh, Import, AAF, EDL, or XML. And then go to where your folder was, which mine, I have Windows 10, so I can just easily click on this. And then, boom. It's right, oh, no, sorry, wrong one, there. Uh, demo video, it says that there isn't one. Okay, so I figured out what happened. I had rendered it to the wrong folder. I had rendered it to a, um, the, I bought a $500 paperweight uh, video folder. Uh, that's why I always, I always stress that you should change it from uh, in my case, E or edit to done or upload uh, so that it doesn't detect that that's a thing so that you were forced to change it. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, do a quick save and then close. And then what I'll do is I will open up resolve again and then file import and now we can go to the demo video and then there's our XML document. Now it brings up this, you want to change your timeline name to whatever you want to call it because if this timeline name is not the same as your output video, uh, it will completely wreck your face and you may not be able to uh, change the name before you render. Um, or at least it's a pain in the arse to remember how to do that. So remember it here so that you don't have to remember it later. So we'll just call it video again, or demo video. And now it says 14 of 14 clips were not yet found. Simply click yes, and then navigate to the video folder where your project is located. So for mine, mine is in uh, the D folder, projects, New Vegas, and then I have it under the demo video folder. So I click OK, and then it pulls everything back in. No problems, no questions. Now here's the problem with uh, DaVinci Resolve, because it shows that there is no audio attached to these videos. That is not correct. There is audio attached to those videos. For example, if I play this, It sounds normal, correct? But now if I go over here, it sounds very choppy because this has hidden video and audio. So what you want to do is make sure to disable any additional video tracks, or sorry, any additional audio tracks, set these to null uh, just by dragging them down to zero. And now, Wait, wait a minute. Right. 
right, because I muted this line right here, everything is actually proper. So it may work and it may not. You just have to be careful um, when you're editing and take that into account in the case that it does. Um, so what will happen is that you will hear a double audio on your intros and outros. So for example, let me go over here. And see, there you only hear the, uh, the song that we had, the Leslie-O Imaginary Friends. However, sometimes you'll hear your outro's theme as well as, you know, whatever clips you have. Um, so you want to definitely make sure that this line is either muted, uh, which, as you can tell, is a different color. So with that out of the way, everything seems imported. All you have to do is just scroll down, make sure that everything else looks good. Uh, you have your master track that is empty. Um, so everything looks good for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a quick uh, control S to save the file. And then what I'm going to do is click on deliver. Now for YouTube, it automatically has a preset. Simply click YouTube and either 720p or 1080p. And it automatically pulled in your frame rate from your uh, your previous job, which was done in in Vegas. So you had all that set up in Vegas, and now you moved it over to uh, to you had everything done in Vegas, and then you moved everything over to DaVinci, so everything was copied. I do all my videos in 1080p, which means that there's twice the frames that have to go into it, twice the pixels. Um, you also want to make sure that your in-out points are still selected, which by default, it automatically selects all the timeline, uh, but you do just want to make sure, uh, just in case, because that can be a little scary if you've uploaded your video and then you realize, oh crap, I didn't upload all of my video, and then you have to go through and re-render. But actually, I just realized it doesn't matter, because if you have a CUDA-enabled card, which is any video card from NVIDIA in the last, like, two or three years, um, you will be able to use this. So simply go into... Uh, the only thing that you have to change is your audio. Change that uh, from linear PCM to ACC. No one uses linear PCM. Uh, simply go back to video. A quick time is fine. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, quick time is your dot move format. Um, and now that it's built into most programs, you don't have to have quick time on your system anymore. I don't. Um, so what you do then, pretty much everything else is set. Uh, set to uh, add to render queue. And uh, it'll bring up this window if you don't select it. Uh, if you don't select it up here. So... Either click Browse or simply select Add to Render Queue and it'll bring up this window. And then all you have to do is click where you want it to be. I want mine in the, the demo video project folder because that's where it's going. That's where I'm going to upload from because then at the end of this year, I'm going to compress this folder into a .7z folder and then just be able to access it later on. So simply click OK and it moves it over to the jobs. Now, this is a 5-minute, 23-second video. Now, it does say 1 hour, 4 minutes, and 2, and two seconds. This confused me for a while. Because, for me, that's 1 hour, 4 minutes, and 2 seconds. But for this program, it's first timeline, or first segment, 4 minutes, and 2 seconds. It's very confusing, but you'll get the hang of it once you uh, start using this program more. Um, again, all you're using this for is to render out videos. And again, DaVinci Resolve is completely free. So it does have a good editor, but I don't use it because it seems too professional. <laughs> I know that sounds petty, but okay. So the video duration is 5 minutes, 37 seconds, and 3 nanoseconds. Okay. So let's click Start Render, and boom, CUDA starts taking over and taking the frames second by second. So if you look up here, 
Uh, I'll go ahead and speed up this video so that you guys don't have to sit through this. And also, because we're rendering and, uh, and also recording at the same time, it may take a little hit. So do know that performance may differ, and it should actually be faster. All right. So I do have to say uh, I actually had to close out of the... Uh, recording simply because uh, I could not have the <laughs> the recording when I was recording it was just going so slow and I could almost see every single frame it was quite pathetic so but the point is that this completed in six minutes and 24 seconds so let me go ahead and open the same project okay this is the same video in Vegas and this is without CUDA acceleration and let me go ahead and I'll render it out render as now I am rendering as um, okay so I'll render this out to the exact same file or folder um, but this is gonna be an mp4 rather than a move so it should hypothetically be more uh, like more optimized for YouTube, hypothetically. So, uh, and just to show you guys the render settings, uh, this is what I have right here, audio system. I cannot change the settings for uh, video encoding for CUDA acceleration anymore. So if I click render, it is just using the CPU. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished. Okay, so it's finally done. Um, I do have to say that was terrible. Um, also, this was all the way up to 72 degrees Celsius. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I'll put it like over here in post. Uh, so you guys can understand how hot that damn CPU was um, while rendering. It's not supposed to get that hot, and I have it on water. So let's close this. 14 minutes and 57 seconds. So you have you have to kind of think. So this one took um, six minutes essentially. And then this one took essentially 15 minutes. So if you put the 6 with the 5 minutes that it took you really to um, export it and make sure all your audio was okay and everything, you are still saving about anywhere from, depending, again, how fast you can uh, save and, ex and por port it over into um, DaVinci. You can save anywhere from five to six minutes rendering. All because you click, okay, let, you do save, you save the project, and then you click one, two, uh, three, four, five, six buttons and open up DaVinci Resolve and open a new program. So six buttons can save you four to six minutes, again, depending on how fast you can pull it in. All of that. And you don't have to worry about getting a new workflow. You don't have to worry about... Uh, changing up how you do things, and and it just works. So, and obviously, if you want to get used to DaVinci and just edit in DaVinci, that's cool too, because this is free, and then you don't have to buy Vegas, or you don't have to pay per month for Creative Cloud. So, Vegas is a great studio system but I actually prefer resolve 
for my rendering, again, because it is so fast. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little different, because uh, I haven't done a, uh, I guess, screen capture cat, 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 blah, 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 blah. I haven't done a screen cap video in a very long time. So, with that note, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. God dang, this is amazing. I love Resolve uh, for the simple fact that it renders so much quicker. Actually, you know what? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them side by side in post and let you guys choose which one is better. There you go. Comment down below which one you guys think is better. I will, po I will put it in post so I don't have to worry about trying to figure it out. Um... So thank you guys again for watching. This has been my workflow. I know it's a very long video. I'm sorry, but I had to get it off my chest because this is just, <sighs> this is a very long video. Um, but I don't have to worry about rendering times because Da Vinci. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget, stay loyal, stay subscribed. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh,